Right, that's the one. What do you want? We've got a client come in. Uh, a client in yesterday. He's, he great horses in. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, and he's a barrier. So he, he spends. Spends all the time. Oh, it's, you can imagine what he's got five sides. You know what I mean? And he's far like, you want a little respect, but you know, he's got, he's certainly got a strong side. He's got a, a wee side. Yeah. You know, riding. It's just, it's yeah. four for the age. You know. he's a, and he's about the same age as me. You know, he's got a history of triathlons and all that sort of stuff. He's, you know, half decent. Um, but he, uh, he comes to see me. He comes to see me. He Pretty much for a similar situation. Yeah. And, but his partner, he's trying to get his partner to see me. She's a hairdresser. Yeah. And um, he's telling me, yeah, that's fine. He gets him to see me. Uh, and she's got this and that kind of thing. I said, mate, I'll treat it. Yeah. So I know exactly what's going on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 there all the time. Yeah, yeah. 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 This, uh, uh, yeah. She's always been having treatment. Uh, uh, getting to that spot and treating it. Yeah. yeah. She cannot. Just to get the treatment, you know. Yeah. Um, and then you just it. But a classic example. Yeah. Oh, like I like in that spot to, um, like when I'm surfing a big wave. Yep. Like it's an uncomfortable feeling, but then as soon as you finish surfing it, Unfortunately, what we've seen because there hasn't been that sustained commitment to the funding and the leadership that we actually need in this space, that we can see homelessness has actually increased. Mission Australia's 10 point plan to reduce homelessness calls for more support for services to prevent people in the upper street. It also calls for more affordable housing. What we'd like to see is youth homelessness halved by 2020. We'd like to see the total number of people who are homeless halved by 2025. And we'd like to halve the number of low income earners who are experiencing rental stress. So these are three very specific targets. They're stretching, but we believe they're achievable because we know what works. We know that homelessness is a problem that can be solved with the right level of commitment, with the right level of cross-government support, federal and state, and a funding commitment for the longer term. Right, okay, so... Put you two. Put him over on his front again, mate. Sorry. No, it's alright, I understand what you're doing. Oh, no, I just want to see you in the tummy. Good mate, that's alright. Oh, yeah. Fair enough. I'll do it all day. I'm sure you prefer not to, buddy. No, I promise. Intensify all on the in or the out. 
your alarm phone because they oppose each other. Yeah. So if you've got restriction in that opposing muscle, you'll never get. You're never going to release body. Yeah, correct. That's why you feel so good after we do that. Yeah. Generally, you know, yeah. you know, all of a sudden, I'm just everything feels like it's back on place. Everything strips up there. Um, my glutes are immediately offloaded. Yeah. Um, you know, I could spend half an hour you can cut out through your glutes and it wouldn't get anywhere. And, but you probably didn't get that feeling. Yeah. It'd feel like it was better. Huh? I, I definitely have noticed if I stretch my adductors before I stretch my glutes, yep. I get some kind of relief. Otherwise, if I just stretch yep. my glutes, I end up hurting my adductors. Yep, correct. Spot on. Right, spin over the back. You're a classic example, mate. Right? That is exactly what, you know? Yeah. Which, in some respects, intuitively for you, whilst you've been playing footy, if you've been doing that, that's been able to like, allow you to play as long as you have without, uh, without having a major injury. Yeah, because the problem is with that, when that doesn't, you know, you know it's like, yeah, yeah. Can you can imagine if you're a triathlete or yeah. you're running a ring and you've got fatigue starting to happen in that glute because of that inhibition. Yeah. That's when you start developing knee problems. Yeah. Carb problems and all that sort of stuff. It's been obvious to me that it's like a, well, like a, my body's like a freaking puzzle. We've been working it out. Everyone's been working it out slowly, haven't they? Yeah, yeah, like, and that's where you kind of you to, you know. But there's still been test. something before the Cairo. Yeah. Like this is this is obviously the Cairo never saw any of this. Since I've been seeing you, so I saw the Cairo, right? I saw you first, and you're like, yeah, there's something not right, stability. Went and saw the Cairo, she might have got that right, but then the Cairo did a wall too. Yeah. And so then I started seeing you, and I've gone through another progression, and then I went back to the Cairo, and she's like, oh, I need to see you for the next three weeks, and last week, because now she's working on putting these back in. So she never saw that. Nah. So yeah, yeah. She's picked up on something extra, so by working with both of you, it's definitely getting something. Yeah. Oh, there's no doubt I can see it. Yeah. Oh, I can tell when I wake up in the morning, like, oh, I can run now in the morning, whereas I can barely go to fucking bed. Everything's so stiff and sore and aching. Is that what makes you feel old? Yeah. Doesn't it? But, but you know what? It's probably a timely feeling to have it. Because I'm young enough to get my body sorted and not be stupid. Like, I've only got one person to blame again, yeah, so it's pretty good. It's not like I had a... Yeah. yeah. I was going to say, actually. No. I've been very lucky. I've never had a torn knee or anything like that. I've just let... Take my body for granted and let it sort of build up and build up. It's what? Like, but actually, I'm, yeah. I'm just as guilty as that as you are. Yeah. Yeah, well, I think my body was basically telling me to stop fucking doing it. From the point where I could sit for three weeks and you know, have nerve pain, that's enough to enough of a lasting memory. Correct. Yeah, not building it again. Yeah, so much of it. I know. You're up here on the first day. It's amazing. It's just excessive load. Yeah. They haven't had a shift or a change yeah. or something that's no. do you know what I mean? So when you jump from one sport to the next to the next to the next, that's I reckon that's probably a little bit of part of it. Yeah. But you, you know, uh, and and you're good like that because you run and you surf, yeah. you know, and you do all these things rise, uh, and do you know what I mean? You should, which you should be able to do. Yeah. Then focus up on something like footy. Yeah. Which just changes the dynamics for everything. Yeah. Yeah. So one minute yeah, your body's getting fit and surfing. Yeah. And you start doing footy. Yeah. And then you do running to get yourself fit for yeah. footy, you know. Well, I reckon it's sort of, if I could pin it to anything, it's being aware of your niggles. 
So in footy, if I get a niggle in my grind or something like that, or if I'm really tired, like I used to always do it. I used to wake up on a Sunday morning and go for surf, even though I just had the shit beat out of me on Saturday, and my whole body screaming at me, don't move. Yeah. So what do I go do? And could you play rock and time? Yeah. I go jump in freezing cold water, make my body even more stiff, and I go and try and do the most flexible thing on the planet. But, so it's sort of like a polar opposite I'm making my body do in a day. Yeah. Not smart. I should just, if I want to surf, don't think about it. If I want to play footy and surf, don't think about surfing until maybe Tuesday and go for a light paddle. Play football and surf. But football. But surfing is so, so therapeutic on the whole level. But so is football. See, because I'm a very aggressive man by nature. You wouldn't pick it. No. But I've got a fair tempo. Have you? Yeah, and football just. Oh, he's the same. Oh, but I don't want to get on the end of it. No, it's, it's well and truly you kept in check, and I have to thank for that. Right? Thank you. I've never had whatever that allows you that release. Yeah, I've never had white line fever or anything like that, but I have had moments in my life. You know, where you've been frustrated. Oh, a number of stats. Okay. So yeah. One time I had a guy by the throat up off the wall, off the ground, because he nearly hit my brother on the head. And I couldn't really remember doing that. I remember just putting him down again and I was like, sorry. Straight into the Big fight. Yeah, he was like white. So yeah, I've definitely and I've seen him my older brother. And even Jay to a lesser extent, my younger brother. But we've got a point, tipping point. Simon's tipping point was real easy. And he's you know like you get flicked him up. Exactly. And he but he was little and he was sort yeah. of like not yeah, that yeah. aggressive. Well, I'm in the middle. But when it went, it was sort of a bit scary. And Jake's on the street. But Jake when he was growing up, he chased Brooke and that uh, with his and bats and stuff like that. Like when his switch gets flipped, it's, it's, it's on. It's on, yeah. But, he, he, but he's the most classic quiet, so for it to get flipped up. But that's the thing, you gotta watch the quiet ones. They do so, yeah. Too, so. Yeah, I think it was 31. Well, so, so, so not many people have been on that, I've No. 